Went to a, a chili contest that uh, Paulie had won a couple of years ago. Since retired. Now, I thought this was like a real big thing. And I said to my wife, I said, yeah, there's this chili contest. I'm asking all of the people that I run into in these stores because I don't I haven't heard from Paulie where it is. And I go, uh, hey, a big chili contest. And they're like, not that I'm aware of. I go, no, no, it's a big it's a big chili contest here. It's an important chili contest. <laughs> yes. And, and that's it's semantics. And then and then Paulie sends me the directions and then we Google it. Nothing comes up. And I'm going, all right, well, let's just go and see if Paulie's telling us the truth. It's invite only. And and we we pull up and the lights are on in a beautiful, you know, courthouse building or middle of nowhere. And there's probably 12 cars in the uh, parking lot, <laughs> maybe. And then I walk in and I just see the things of chili. And there's Paulie, got a beer, and his he's just there with his buddies. All it is is his buddies are holding this contest. I thought it was like, Paul, when Paulie said he won, did you guys think there were like 50 people involved in this? <laughs> oh, I thought hundreds. Like, <laughs> I thought like they sold tickets and it was a huge honor. And, and I go, got your picture in the paper the next day. Like that kind of thing. <laughs> I know. And, and then I walk in and then I go, okay. I didn't think Paulie thought I was going to go. Oh, so I, I you, thought you were. Oh, uh, Because I thought that you could at least continue the um, visage that, hey, I won this chili con, this, the press. You know, it's unprecedented chili contest. I was the underdog. I was out of nowhere, and I won this thing. I beat seven other contestants. Yes, Paulie. Yeah, it's a it's a small town, little Dover, <laughs> Vermont, and we get the town hall. And I would say anywhere from 10 to 15 usually participate. And you just bring in a crock pot, you put it in, and everyone votes and drinks beer all night. It was wonderful. It was. It was great. And I met Mrs. Meeker, who was a very nice woman. Yes, and her son, Dave, was yeah. the two-time champion yeah. back-to-back. Yeah, so uh, I, I did that. I was also, when I'm not, I don't ski, so I, I snowshoe. And uh, when I wasn't snowshoeing, I was sitting in uh, in my condominium. <laughs> my, my uh, whatever you want to call the it. townhome. Yeah, my townhome, whatever it is. I'm watching this show. Have you guys seen Don't Bleep with Cat People? McLovin, have you oh, seen Oh, yeah. It's I, not a cute cat video it's, series. It's Netflix. And there are these people who track down this killer, this murderer, in Canada. Oh, I've seen this. I, I, like, we're, my wife and I are watching going, how is this possible? It's a crazy, crazy story. It, crazy it, story. It's real. It's true. It's based off of a true story. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think he was arrested back in 2012. It's a documentary. Yes. Yeah. It's. I'm not all the way through it, but I will say, when you watch it, you're going, how did, how did this possibly get past police in the first place? How far in are you? Uh, they just brought him back from Germany. Oh. Now his mom is talking about somebody who may have told him. I guess this guy, I don't even know how to explain it, but he, he killed somebody, and he would kill pets, too. He'd kill cats. And then I think the cat people found out, and then they went after him. And they did so much research, the police asked them for all the information that they did. They, I don't know if they would have caught him without these people. Yes, he, he was sort of like a con man who uh, had invented this life online for himself and was sort of trying to live it out oh, in real God. life. But then he also had this sort of other side life online that involved these cat videos that were just really horrifying um, it, the story is just nuts. He kills somebody on camera. But you're watching it, and you go, he didn't kill somebody on camera. But he did. When, when you're, his nickname or his handle was something, one person, one ice pick, or something like crazy like that, and these people tracked him down. Yes, he... A bit of a left turn from the chili cook-off. Yes, there, it was. Dan. Yes, it was. Uh, yeah, they're not related in any way, those two events. No, they, they are not. Bit of a... Yeah, well... <laughs> Maybe I should have started with this and then <laughs> eased my way into the chili contest. And, but you uh, you were snowshoeing, man. You're, a, no, you're I tough. I went to the top of the mountain, and, of course, I'm there. I'm soaking wet. I sit down, and who walks in but Paulie? And I go. <laughs> Fresh as a daisy. Yeah, because he took the chairlift up. <laughs> I walked up. God invented chairlifts for a reason. Yeah. Well, he also invented snowshoes for a reason, you, too. I you don't were, know. You were sweating from the top to the bottom of your body. You were sitting there. You look like. You've been in a steam bath. I, I was drenched. 
And then I had to go back down. <laughs> like, they should let me take the, the chairlift down. Oh, what you do for love. You know, my wife says, hey, we're going to get up at 630 and I'll get some, you know, health food bars and some water and we'll climb up. It'll be beautiful. And I go, OK. And we get up about not even halfway. And I said, yeah, I think I'm going to turn around. I'm going to tap out. She goes, what do you mean tap out? I said, ah, I think I'm going to turn around. She goes, no, no, just try it. Try it. You know what you do? You count to 30. You count 30 steps and then we'll stop. So that's what I was doing. And she got to learn to breathe. You got to learn to breathe. Like, oh, my God. And then you get to a point where you go, all right, bleep it. I'm going. I'm going all the way up. And then I wanted to, like, plant, plant a flag, like a Dan Patrick show flag oh, on like the top of the mountain. Sir Edmund Hillary? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I just watched uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, that movie Everest yeah. um, about the, the blizzard in 1996 that sort of got all those people stranded up there. Yeah. It's not really the happiest ending either. Is that James Brolin? Yeah. Uh, Josh. Josh Brolin. Brolin. Yeah. 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 There's actually a good cast in that. Jake Gyllenhaal is in there. <laughs> uh, a whole bunch of people. Interesting movie, but uh, it, I'm sure you can relate now, given your experience yes, of I summoning <laughs> Mount Snow. And I'm wondering, <laughs> would I ever want to do, like, Mount Kilimanjaro or something? And the answer is no. You should watch Everest first. And then. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like fun. Need more warm weather mountains. You know, nice, <laughs> nice leisurely hike. I know. But, but, you know, my wife says, you need to have some more goals. Like, you know, accomplish things. I said, good God. How many Emmys does she have? i like, yes. I said, honey, <laughs> do you know I was Mr. Outside in high school? I was Mr. Outside. Do you know what I did at Sports Center? Google it. You need more goals. You need to have more hobbies. Yeah, my goal was to uh, get that condo over there and yeah. sit in it. And uh, accomplished. <laughs> for more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.